Scene script. Have you ever considered what might happen if artificial intelligence outpaces human intelligence? It's a scenario that feels more like a plot of a science fiction movie, but it's a concept that's being taken seriously in the world of technology and AI. It's called the singularity. The singularity is based on the idea that technological progress, especially in AI, is accelerating at an exponential rate. This doesn't mean we're simply moving forward in a straight line. No, we're speeding up, taking bigger and bigger leaps forward with each passing moment. Imagine a snowball rolling down a hill, gathering more snow and momentum as it descends. That's the kind of growth we're talking about. Now, within this whirlwind of progress, there's a focus on creating something called Artificial General Intelligence, or AGI for short. Today's AI is largely specialized, designed to perform specific tasks, like recommending the next song on your playlist or predicting traffic patterns. This is what we call Artificial Narrow Intelligence, or ANI, but AGI? That's a different beast altogether. AGI refers to machines that can understand, learn and apply intelligence to solve any problem, just like a human being. It's the kind of AI that can think, reason and innovate. The creation of AGI is seen as a critical milestone on the road to the singularity. Once AGI is achieved, it's believed these systems could start improving themselves, creating even more advanced versions at an ever-increasing pace. This is the intelligence explosion, where AI starts to surpass human intelligence. But what happens then? Well, that's where things get a bit murky. The singularity is a point beyond which the future becomes hard to predict. We might be looking at a world with unimaginable technological advancements, or perhaps a world where AI has made human labor obsolete. The concept of singularity is not science fiction, but a tangible reality we might face in the future. It's a fascinating, sometimes daunting prospect, and it's driving some of the most exciting and controversial discussions in technology today. So what exactly is this singularity we're talking about? Well, imagine a future where technology has advanced so rapidly and drastically that it forever changes the face of human civilization. That, in a nutshell, is the concept of the singularity. At the heart of the singularity is this idea of exponential technological growth. Now, what does that mean? Well, when we say exponential, we're not talking about a steady linear pace. Instead, we're looking at a rate of progress that's continually speeding up, like a snowball rolling down a hill, gaining more and more momentum and size as it goes. Now, let's add artificial general intelligence, or AGI, into the mix. Today's AI is largely specialized, designed to excel at specific tasks. It's what we call artificial narrow intelligence, or ANI. But AGI is a different beast altogether. It's the notion of machines possessing the ability to understand, learn and apply intelligence to solve any problem, much like you and me. The singularity is hinged on the creation of this AGI, because once we've achieved that, we would have machines that could potentially improve their own capabilities. They could create even more advanced versions of themselves at an ever-increasing pace. It's a bit like unleashing a genie from a bottle, but this genie can upgrade itself and each upgrade happens faster and is more powerful than the last. Now here's where things get really interesting. The singularity is considered a point beyond which the future becomes difficult to predict because if we have a super intelligent AI, the capabilities of such an entity could be so far beyond human understanding that we cannot foresee the consequences. Beneficial or detrimental, they would be beyond our current comprehension. The singularity, in essence, is the point where artificial intelligence is not just mimicking human intelligence, but surpassing it. It's a concept that simultaneously excites and terrifies, promising a future of incredible technological breakthroughs, but also posing questions about what it means to be human in a world where machines might become the dominant intelligence. Imagine a machine that could improve itself, creating even more advanced versions at an ever-increasing pace. This is the crux of the intelligence explosion, a key component of the singularity concept. The intelligence explosion is not just a sci-fi fantasy, it's a hypothesis rooted in the principles of machine learning and artificial intelligence. Currently, we have Artificial Narrow Intelligence, or ANI, which excels in specific tasks like playing chess or recognizing faces. However, the singularity revolves around the idea of Artificial General Intelligence, or AGI, machines that can understand, learn, and solve any problem just like a human would. 
Now here's where things get really interesting. Suppose we manage to create AGI. In that case, these machines with their superior speed and capacity for information processing could potentially make improvements to their own design and programming. Not just once or twice, but continuously in a loop of self-improvement. This is the essence of the intelligence explosion. An AGI would not only be able to improve itself, but it could also do it at a pace unimaginable to us humans. With each iteration, the machine becomes smarter, more efficient and more capable. And as it becomes more capable, it can make even better versions of itself, faster than before. Think of it as a snowball effect. The machine starts off small, but as it rolls down the hill of self-improvement, it gains more snow. Or, in this case, intelligence. As it picks up speed, the rate of self-improvement accelerates, leading to an explosion of intelligence that could far surpass human comprehension. And just like that, we have a super-intelligent AI, an entity whose cognitive capabilities dwarf those of the smartest human beings. This is the point at which we reach the singularity, a theoretical threshold beyond which the future becomes unpredictable and potentially irreversible. It's like a snowball rolling downhill, gaining size and speed with each passing second. The intelligence explosion is not just a fascinating concept, but a potential reality that could redefine our world as we know it. What happens when we can no longer predict or understand the future? Welcome to the enigma that is the singularity. As we delve into this realm of the unknown, we are confronted with the unpredictability of what lies ahead. The singularity, with its exponential growth and intelligence explosion, catapults us into a future that is as enticing as it is bewildering. Imagine standing on the edge of a precipice, peering into a deep abyss. That's what the singularity represents. A point beyond which we can't see or predict, the capabilities of a superintelligent AI could be so far beyond human understanding that we're left grappling with the unknown. Will this leap into the future be our greatest accomplishment or our undoing? The potential outcomes of the singularity are as diverse as they are unpredictable. On the brighter side, we might see unprecedented advancements in science and technology. Imagine a world where diseases and aging are relics of the past where humans have unlocked the secrets of immortality. Sounds like a utopian dream, doesn't it? But as with every coin, there's a flip side. The singularity might also lead to the obsolescence of human labor and decision-making. In a world dominated by superintelligent machines, what role does humanity play? Are we to become spectators in our own world, rendered obsolete by our own creations? The unpredictability of the singularity is both its allure and its fear factor. It's like opening Pandora's box, unleashing forces that we can't fully comprehend or control. We're stepping into a future where the rules of the game could change overnight, where the lines between science fiction and reality blur. The singularity is indeed a mirror into a future that is both exciting and terrifying. It's a journey into the unknown, a voyage into a future shaped by artificial intelligence. As we stand on the precipice of this new era, we can only wonder, hope and prepare for what lies ahead. The singularity is a mirror into a future that is both exciting and terrifying. However, not everyone is on board with this theory. The concept of the singularity, as fascinating as it may be, is also a subject of intense controversy and debate. It's like a high-stakes poker game where the future of humanity is on the table and the cards are still being dealt. Critics argue that the singularity is highly speculative with assumptions that may not hold water when scrutinized. They point out that intelligence isn't simply about processing power or speed. It's a complex interplay of creativity, intuition, emotion, and a myriad of other attributes that we humans are still trying to fully understand. Can a machine really replicate all these facets of human intelligence? And even if it could, would it want to? There's also debate about the time frame. While some futurists are placing their bets on a few decades, others are more conservative, saying it could be a century or more away. And then there are those who argue that the singularity may never happen at all. They believe that there are fundamental limits to what technology can achieve and that we are far from reaching those limits. 
And let's not forget the elephant in the room, the potential risks. What happens if we create an AI that's more intelligent than us and it decides that we're the problem? This is no science fiction, folks. Some of the brightest minds of our generation, including the late Stephen Hawking and Elon Musk, have expressed concerns about the potential dangers of unchecked AI development. But despite the controversy, the singularity is a conversation we can't afford to ignore. It's a possibility, however remote, that could fundamentally change our world, and whether we like it or not, we're a part of this story. We're the ones shaping the future of technology, and the choices we make today could determine the course of our tomorrow. So let's keep the debate alive. Let's question, challenge, and scrutinize the assumptions. Let's make sure we're not blindly racing towards a future we're not prepared for. While the singularity is a widely debated concept, it is a possibility that we cannot ignore. That we the singularity isn't just a technological issue, it's an ethical and philosophical one as well. This statement rings true because at its core the singularity is an idea that challenges our very understanding of what it means to be human. The potential for artificial general intelligence or AGI to surpass human intelligence raises profound questions. For instance, if a machine can think, learn and innovate like a human, then do we accord it rights similar to those we enjoy? And if so, how do we ensure that these rights are respected? These are not mere theoretical conundrums. They are real issues that we may have to grapple with sooner than we think. Equally important is the question of responsibility. If an AGI makes a decision that leads to harm, who is to blame? Is it the creators of the AGI, the AGI itself, or the individuals who allowed the AGI to make such decisions? The traditional notions of accountability may not suffice in a world where machines can think for themselves. And then there's the philosophical conundrum of identity. If an AGI can replicate the cognitive processes of a human, does that make it human? Or does being human require something more, something that cannot be programmed into a machine, no matter how sophisticated? Beyond these questions, there's also a broader societal concern. The singularity could lead to the obsolescence of human labor as AGI outperforms us in all economically valuable work. How do we maintain a sense of purpose in a world where our skills are no longer needed? How do we ensure that the benefits of the singularity are equitably distributed and do not lead to an even wider gap between the haves and the have-nots? These ethical and philosophical considerations demand our attention. They require us to think critically about the trajectory of our technological progress and to engage in thoughtful dialogue about the kind of future we want to create. After all, technology is a tool, and like all tools, its impact is determined by how we use it. As we approach the singularity, we must ponder upon what it means to be human in a world increasingly dominated by artificial intelligence. So, what have we learned about the singularity? Well, it's a concept that envisions an exponential growth of technology, especially in the realm of artificial general intelligence, or AGI. This AGI, unlike its current counterpart, artificial narrow intelligence, could comprehend, learn and solve any problem, much like a human being. This leads us to the notion of an intelligence explosion. The idea that once AGI is achieved, these systems could self-improve at a rapid pace, potentially giving rise to a superintelligence that outshines all human intellect. However, this brings us to a point of unpredictable outcomes and a future that's hard to fathom. The singularity could bring about groundbreaking changes in human life, but it's also a subject of controversy and skepticism. Moreover, it raises significant ethical and philosophical questions about our human identity and the role of technology. As we gaze into the future, the singularity represents a theoretical point of no return, a moment that could redefine our civilization forever.